who is after Pastor Eliomide? The pastor of City of David, Pastor Ido Eliomide, formerly called Pastor I.D., has maintained absolute silence on the issue of his parish became public. He was directed to report at the Butemeta headquarters and to attend his services there after his suspension. He compiled and has been worshipping there since then. He has continued to maintain profound silence in spite of varying remorse and pal pale and pal and pal pal pale. Of okay, he has continued to maintain profound silence in spite of varying remorse and falsehood being sponsored in the media by various interests. The latest claim is that alleged, an alleged 320 million naira debt, but this is a clear fallacy. What could be called debt in the church account with Access Bank is 373 million 578,442 naira 77 cover, which is actually the interest from the 16.6 .6 billion naira loan of a church of which 10.5 billion is the loan and 6.1 billion the interest that accrued over the years but it is important to know that the church has paid back 7.6 billion of this loan between january and june this year yes 7.6 billion never paid in just six months leaving an outstanding principal of 9 billion naira as stated by access bank in his email dated May 13, 2024, and signed by Chine Luchiwendo Mwajago, a branch manager with the title Current Outstanding Balance of Trinity Towers Facility, the bank put a sum of 373,578,342 Naira, 77 Kobo, as the interest due on in July 21, 2024, in addition to a total outstanding principal of 9 billion Naira. Indeed, the 373.5 million is not due for payment until July, but COD under Pastor Eliomedi had already deposited 200 million in the account. Left then is 173 million naira to complete the interest sum. This amount would have been raised before the July date, but for this whole saga, it is in the interest sum that is now being mischievously altered and abandoned in the media as debt. It is undoubtedly a hoax. There is also the news that a COD account has been audited by KPMG. This is true, but the fact is that the parishes of a papa family that Pastor ID heads are audited every year, just like other RCCG parishes. So if COD is being audited at this time, it is only fair that all the 60,000 parishes of a church in Nigeria should be audited. And just a while ago, this was loud. There was loud whispering that Pastor Ivy issues was a result of building Trinity Towers in his family name. The hard fact, however, is that a cultivated lawyer and pastor erected a timeless iconic edifice for RCCG and not his family. He has endured all the outrage and scandals and gave RCCG officials all the cooperation they needed for the investigation. One of those on the investigation mission was reportedly so touched by the finding that so vindicated Pastor Lumedi that he said this man deserves a better treatment. So why is his name being subjected to this brazen infamy? Why is he being hounded? Is it a sin to build a glorious edifice for the Lord? What is Christianity all about? Lord have mercy on the church. Now, this is what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to say about this particular matter. This man don't make mistake. Be saying don't make mistake. For him to be quiet like this, sincerely, I didn't look at it though, like this, from this angle, if you ask me. But may God allow us to make mistake. I was saying may God give us wisdom to avoid problem. Because the genesis of this man's issue was that particular birthday of his wife. I'm telling you, and I am sure he would have said, ah, had he been say, person they feel the white hand of time, you will feel the rewind now. Because it's true, true, he has been quiet. Even his wife, I never hear a wife talk anything. He himself never talk anything. Hmm? The way they made it sound, first of all, in the media made it sound that, oh, then tell him, he resigned. You understand? Maybe not just because of the katakata. But to me, yo, this is what I'm going to say. 
make them not use one mistake. Though the mistake is profound, it's deep. But make them not use one mistake. Use and erase all the things we be say. We go don't allow. Make them use one mistake. Erase everything we be say you don't do. All your sacrifices and works. We don't say human being you get as we be. No, I'm just looking at it from another angle. But like I said, he made a very costly mistake. Sincerely, all the good he has done, all the part that who he built a particular and that thing you cannot build there's there no how you build the church in your name now. How you guys build the church in your name now? Your church? You can't do that. People they say he built the church for a name. How is it in his name? It is just that his name will always be affiliated with that building. Why? Because Nahim did here, Nahim built the church. Do you understand? When you are particular that, okay, when you are particular that has five branches in a particular street, what do you expect? It's all about making money, and that is Nigeria for you. Now listen to this. Blame the Jezebel wife, not the church. He only fell into the hand of his wife as a human being. It's always this person they talk. Who is carrying all sort of news about the pastor? It is you, the media people. You are the ones writing all rubbish up and down about him. Yes, what his wife did is wrong. It's beyond pardon. But if it be God, forbid her husband that died, will she celebrate her birthday in such fashion? My dear, this is what I'm going to say. It is wrong. It is very wrong. And forgive you. I mean, and deep. It's deep. Okay? Even if, I've said it, even if these people that even lost their life are not finances of a church you don't come outside and act like you don't care you don't do that okay no matter how this baby don't be hungry you you can hold it off for a few months the mistake has been done the idea has been done these people have actually been buried they have learned from this mistake and i'm sure next time they're not going to make such but people when they call for their crucifixion those people too they never make mistake we are all human beings, so at one point or time or the other, we don't make mistakes like this way people drag us for. We don't do. We're going to leave this man make a drink water, drunk up. There are more demons in the church parody themselves as leaders of than the agents of darkness around. I think we have more enemies within than we have outside the church. God will have mercy on them. My dear, you don't see him. The thing is, just like he said, I said, Church in a hospital we get plenty sick people. And as they talk, they will have more enemies. Yes, now. Now the people waiting for church, now they go take people waiting outside. Say, see what's in the happen inside church. Now, so now, if the church is guarded against itself, you're not even going to hear such news in the media. Lie, lie, you will hear. But it is because this kind of thing. Now, one person might come outside the right, say, and see you, this person die you in a debate day. Now, one person never start up. Now, the person will start up just initiated the heat. Come go sit down. That's the reason they go. But me, I'm saying, you don't do. Whatever guilt they are feeling in their hearts, I'm sure you don't do. Hmm? You could not crucify them, you don't do. You don't do. They don't make the mistake. The mistake has been made. And currently, they are, to me, they don't even, they don't receive the repercussion, the consequences of the mistakes. So make good answer. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the